Let me get the reload. Oh! That's the power. Lads, the new Fortnite season keeps delivering with the Marvel-themed items and weapons. And in my last video, I showed you why Shuri's Black Panther Claws are actually a viable movement item in Zero Build Mode. So in this video, I'm going to show you why the other new Marvel Mythic item is not only viable, but absolutely dominant in build mode. I'm talking about Gwenpool's dual SMGs. These things have an insane DPS and a crazy reload speed that allows them to chew through builds like tissue paper. And I'm going to be showing you lads quite a few tips in this video on how to use this weapon to its maximum potential, so be sure to watch to the end. Unfortunately, during this entire stream, I kept getting stuffed by the true most overpowered item in this Fortnite season. And I was unable to sink that victory royale as hard as I tried. Comment down below if you can guess what this item is. But you'll definitely find out as you watch this video. I even give a couple tips on how to counter it and even discuss how it could be improved or changed around to be more fair and more fun. Anyway, comment down below how you feel about Gwenpool's mythic item. Be sure to like, subscribe, and use code Starheart in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel. I don't want people to sleep on this. This is a really good item. If he wants to try and get it, I'll shoot him down. You don't want to land on it immediately, man. Always grab gun first. Gun before chest. Gun before NPC. Let's collect this metal real quick. The thing about it is it's gonna be very good at chewing through wood, but things like metal have very high health. So we gotta be taking their wood, replacing it with metal. And then we own their spot. We might even be able to just chew through them with the SMG itself. Oh, buddy, you pulled up to the wrong spot. Gimme those. The lore here is that Deadpool is so inspired by Gwenpool. Even though she isn't inspired by Deadpool at all, he's so inspired by her badass weapons that he's got to try them out. Normally, Deadpool would just use some bunk-ass dual pistols, which honestly have never really been too good in this game. I don't know exactly why I'm coming over here. I was thinking maybe there's more people, but I think he cleaned them all up. Could use a decent rifle. Or a jetpack, maybe. Actually, I think I take bigs in these. The fact that the small shields don't heal you that fast. They're not the greatest. Test out these SMGs on some people right now. Ooh, and they have some stuff. Hold up. Okay, that was a dude. An actual guy, but he didn't have the best aim there. That's why he had the turret. The other one, pretty sure, was a bot. Check this out. Uh. No, sir. No, sir. And since we're in build mode, a really cheesy tip here is that we can tag him with the dual micros. And even if they build, the turret will still target them through the builds as long as I've hit them before. And with the DPS of this, with the fire rate of these micros, I should be able to tag him through the wall and just keep this turret activated. Should be really, really cheesy. Really cheap. <laughs> Should piss some people off, let me tell you that. I'm actually gonna leap over to him because I have the turret. I wanna leap over and just melt him. Dude, that thing tracks you. That's so f lame. 
That Captain America shield has auto lock, bro. It literally like curved to f hit me. Oh, look, the baby version of Gwenpool's mythic. Oh, look at it. Isn't it adorable? Oh, look at that. It does 10 damage. Oh, hers does 14. Double the reload time, bro. Hers is a DPS m -m monster. All right, let me get a little bit of materials and then we're heading into Reckless to actually use this thing. There's a good rock back here. Oh, those Xbox alerts. Deadpool on the move. Ooh, uh, armored walls. Oh, that's the Avengers chest. Okay. Hey, we're getting a good amount of these, honestly. The Black Panther gloves, and I'm fine with that because they're good. They don't quite beat the jetpack. Jetpack will win if you end up in vertically challenged situations, you know? But uh, when it comes to distance, yeah, this thing wins. Got lasered. I think he was just down there, actual. I thought he was up. Where? He's not gonna wanna come out of there, so I need to break, make him feel confident about poking, and then catch him. Oh, that's great. It's like the ceiling was too high to maintain the brick break effect of the shockwave. I should just be ultimate high up here, and there should be more heals. Last thing I want to do is get tagged for being in the low. Everything's kind of centering on Reckless right now, so we got to maintain good positions. It's so weird this has no scope, man. There should be a law against getting a gun this good without a scope. It's like for a season that's so dependent on mods. It's not the best when it comes to the bloom. Like this. I mean, I'm just straight up less combat effective with this thing. Nothing is a better mod, truthfully. <laughs> The best mods in this game right now are just sights. If you put a sight on your weapon, it does more than any other mod can do. I think I need to actually move away from here and go over this way. Now I have even better high ground and everyone should reveal themselves to me. We got a jetpack guy here. Kind of what I mean. I'm still getting good tags, though. GG's. I think that's both people that were over here, so maybe we just go back to this grand station. Everyone's playing, like, super careful, though, which is weird. We're in a pub. Showed off the micros. Really showed off their DPS. Oh, he's a rocket man. Rocket man. to get in his face because that is not a good position. I also need to get more heals. A little later.
That guy has to push in, so it's not about us going there, it's about him going. Hold high ground temporarily. This guy has a car, they both have coins. Seems like he's trying to monarch there. <laughs> Just about maintaining position. These guys are going to move through each other. Just going to do the classic getting tree trick. We might win on virtue of movement. We'll see. Wow, I just got devastated, bro. Dude, that power is stupid. Holy sh he just area affected me to death with the dumbass doom power, bro. I'm telling you not to do it. I'm telling you not to do uh, Bro, I am telling you not to do it. Please don't, Cypher PK. Please don't. Everyone, buy the Cypher PK skin. But use code SOURHEART when you do. Cypher PK has millions of dollars. Support an independent creator, please. Oh, bro. All right, just a bot. Reaper 64, that's a bot. And this probably isn't. Let me get the reload. Oh! That's the power. See? I actually need to be getting closer like that and uh, getting my way in the boxes. If they're making it with wood, bro, I just out TPS it so hard. <sighs> Again, a gold AUG that has no sight. This is a terrible way to balance Fortnite, man. To just take away your accuracy if you don't get lucky. And then it means you have to go to bunkers to have good rifles. But bunkers aren't readily available in all drop spots. Like, you gotta go, or you gotta go to a mod bench, which is not in a bunker. Actually, let me shout out a, a YouTuber here, Clark K Clark Clint. It's a hard name to say. It's easier to type than to say. He talked about that in this in his newest video. Why put mods in the game if you're not gonna let us get the mods as easily as possible or make them drop from chests or ammo boxes or something? I mean, imagine team dynamics if you like all got mods and then all your squad had to meet up and exchange mods with each other to match your weapon sets. Like that's kind of what Fortnite is about is that team dynamic stuff, man. And it's just not there with the mod system like it was with the augment system. Oh, Frieza! The Frieza! 21! I would honestly rather take a purple with a sight than a gold without a sight, bro. 100%. 100%. Hey, <laughs> he said, hurry up and help me, bro. Uh, okay. I'll come help you. Help I'll carry on down the river. Come 
on. You, I'm out. Leave me alone, man. Come on. Oh, dude, can I get one game without getting barrel stuffed by the Doom guy? The Doom coin gives people so much confidence, and it means you can't play anywhere else, or you're destined to run into the Doom guy, who's always the best player in the game. And you know, I wouldn't have such a problem with these Doom gauntlets if they came out of chests now, you know? Like, half the adventure chests are Doom chests now but they don't give you the doom gauntlets it just loads you up so much you get siphon coin doom gauntlets and the monarch mythic which is like the best gun in the game hands down so it's like you just have one guy who's super powered running around the map and that's great for advertising i guess but it's it's not great for the player base like you know the thing is is that they never had to introduce the doom laser stuff that doom laser like pickup should have been its own ltm and then doom's gauntlet could have been the thing you got from the island just permanently a hundred percent He has me. That's so lame. Ah, that's f***ed, man. Come on. This game is stupid, bro. I'm done. I'm done with this game. It's fun, and then the busted, broken, ballistic barrage, man.